Your personal brand is the unique place that you are in a person's mind. And that person could be the person sitting right next to you at the table. That person can be your employer, your boss, that next client that's sitting in front of you that you're going to notarize. That client could be your kid's teacher. It doesn't really matter. It's how we present ourselves to people and what they're thinking about you. And I thought, man, this, this is exciting because sometimes we give our power away. You know, sometimes we forget. We wake up in the morning and we're, we're hassled and we, we get ready, we go to work, we walk out the door and we, we don't even take time to take a look at what we're presenting. We just show up and then we're so exhausted when we get there, we start talking about how tired we are. Oh, my kids are driving me crazy and we don't realize that all of those things that we're saying are really about our brand because people are thinking about us. So what branding says is that we sell products and services but the reality is we attach ourselves to people. I love this line. We sell products and services, but we attach ourselves to people. And so you're here today, you're from all over the country, and you're gonna learn a lot, but there's also this secret. And that secret is look at the people at your table, look around. These are your connectors. These are people that when you build this relationship with them, when you leave here on Wednesday and you've made connections, stay connected. Because not only do we learn from, the, of course, your magazine that you're going to read every day, right, cover to cover. We learn from, from, from public, but we also learn from each other. And so you want to make that connection that you stand out in someone's mind here, maybe two, three, or four people. So when I'm done today, this is really what I want you to do, is to, to take some of this and realize that we sell products and services, but we connect ourselves to people. That's a pretty, pretty cool line. So I've been thinking about it, and I th thought back to what can I give you to watch? Because I love to give homework, and I love Netflix. How many of you, how many of you watch Netflix? Anybody in here? Okay, Whoa, we love it, right? Who remembers, I'm gonna take you back to 1989, and I'm looking around, and I can tell a lot of you remember 1989. A lot of you. Yeah, so don't, don't hide it, we, I see you. How many of you remember the movie, The Working Girl? Yeah. It was an amazing transformation, wasn't it? Go back and watch it again. It is branding on steroids. Because here she is, she, she wants this job, but she realizes that she's not ready for it. Physically, but also mentally, because she doesn't have the confidence. So for you, and there, there are, I think, Gen Xers and Millennials in here, how many people have never seen this movie? Anybody, I, I can see out there. Go rent it. You'll laugh at the clothes. You're gonna, you're gonna look at you're gonna say, wow, Harrison Ford, you look pretty good back then, right? Yeah, go rent that movie, it's homework.